Yes, welcome back to Bikes of Rye. In today's video, I'm going to run you through everything that's wrong with my Honda Blackbird. Now, if you are new here, let me fill you in. I recently took a rather long four hour drive north to a dealer specializing in salvaged motorcycles to pick up this iconic CBR 1100 Honda Blackbird I had found listed on eBay. The bike had been involved in an accident, but despite its condition, I was so very drawn to it. Now that I have got it home, it is quite clear to see that he has absolutely seen better days. Why do I have a crash damaged Honda Blackbird you ask? Well I have really wanted a project bike for the channel for some time and I felt that this Honda Blackbird was a perfect opportunity to fix up and return to its former glory. Now this Blackbird is over 20 years old and has covered over 70,000 miles, which means it has a lot of history and is a testament to the longevity and durability of a Honda motorcycle. Back in the day, this bike held the top speed world record for a production motorcycle of nearly 180 miles per hour. The CBR 1100 Super Blackbird was a motorcycle that was nothing short of legendary. Launched in 1996, the Blackbird quickly made its mark as one of the fastest motorcycles on the road. The aerodynamic design, powerful engine and advanced technology all contributed to its reputation as a true marvel of engineering. At the heart of the Blackbird was 1137cc liquid-cooled inline-four engine, which produced over 140 horsepower and allowed the motorcycle to easily outpace most other sports bikes of its time. The engine was paired with a refined and responsive chassis that offered stability and comfort even at high speeds, making the Blackbird an ideal choice for long distance trips. The Blackbird was also a true testament to Honda's commitment to innovation and technology. It was equipped with advanced features such as anti-lock brakes, a slipper clutch and adjustable suspension, all of which helped to enhance its performance and make it easier to ride. For 11 years, the Blackbird dominated the sports touring market and cemented its place as a true icon of motorcycling. Despite its age, the Honda Blackbird remains a popular choice amongst those that appreciate its blend of performance and long distance touring capabilities. So what is exactly wrong with this Honda Blackbird? There is no battery. There is no number plate and I have no idea of the registration until I receive the V5. The windshield has a huge crack. This chrome exhaust is all scuffed up. The alloy wheels, well they could do with a refurb. This left hand side mirror, obviously missing its glass and is damaged. This clutch lever is definitely bent. Bearing has taken a knock and has this huge crack. There are scratches here, 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 here. And the biggest issue is the engine. The magneto cover obviously needs replacing. However, the casing is missing its fixings. Oh, and the left-hand ferro needs replacing too. So what is the plan? I'm gonna to look to completely strip the whole bike down. And rather than replace and repair this engine, I think I'm just gonna try and source another one. Then I look at doing things like replacing the consumable parts like the discs, you know, the pads, replace all of the filters, the spark plugs, oils, all of that good stuff. I may even try and look into servicing this suspension because I'm not sure, 70,000 miles. I mean, if you look at the rear spring, it looks a little bit battered in there. Now the fairing is too damaged that you cannot repair. So I might as well just replace some of the fairing pieces. I am going to have the whole bike completely resprayed as well. And then after that, we'll look to start modifying the bike, extracting some more power. We might put some aftermarket exhaust on the bike and ultimately just having as much fun as we possibly can in the process. So all of this will be in future uploads, which means this is a great opportunity for you to hit the subscribe button to follow along as we take this Blackbird and put it back to its former glory. Ending the video here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below, and I hope to see you on another one very soon. Thanks for watching. See you later.